Uh, so I'm happy to welcome you today to the dedication ceremony for the Michael S. Brzezicki Riverwalk. We're here today to honor and celebrate our friend and our for fearless former leader, and now our mayor, Mike Brzezicki. As most of you know, in 1996, Mike was tapped to head the newly created Riverfront Development Corporation of Delaware. He was tasked with the challenging job of resurrecting this blighted industrial wasteland that had been ignored for decades, contaminated and unused since the end of World War II. During his 20 years at the helm of the RDC, Mike led an incredible team who accomplished what many thought was impossible, to reinvent and reinvigorate this area and turn it into an economic, cultural, and social hub of our city. Today, 21 years later, close to 2,000 people live on the riverfront and nearly 7,000 come here daily to work. The 2 million square feet of development include many firsts for our city and state. The first IMAX theater and the first children's museum, an outdoor public ice skating rink and miniature golf course, and an urban wildlife refuge, not to mention the many successful restaurants and corporate headquarters. Every state dollar invested in the riverfront has been returned, and every city of Wilmington dollar has been returned three times over. Our riverfront success story is one that other cities across the country are trying to replicate. And without Mike's vision and leadership, the riverfront's potential would not have been realized. I am honored and humbled to be following in his footsteps. They are indeed big shoes to fill. So now I'd like to invite up our friend uh, and Riverfront cheerleader, Senator Tom Carper, and he has a few words he'd like to say. Thank you, Megan. Please remain standing. <laughs> Mike here, come up here. Come up here, Mike here. Put your hands together for Mike here. Come on, Michael. Come on. Megan, come here. Come here. Mayor, come here. Come here and stand with us, Mayor. Please. You know. Um, I think it was in 1993 that uh, Russ Peterson came to see me and along with uh, Archer Bond. Archer Bond, I was governor, I was new governor of Delaware, up to my eyeballs and alligators. And they came to see me and he said, we have a responsibility under a joint resolution authored by, I think, Bobby Marshall and signed by uh, uh, Governor uh, Castle in 92, late 92, that said we ought to look at the uh, river fronts, the Christina and the, uh, the Brandywine, and see what we should do about them. And uh, Michael, come on over here. Come on over here, buddy. And uh, the, uh, he said, uh, we're here to report that we've not concluded our, our work. We have uh, work uh, still to do. And uh, we uh, want to know if we can have uh, some extra time. And I said, take all the time you need. And I was, uh, so I, we're, we're trying to get out of recession. We're trying to get out of a deseg order. And I mean, you name it. Now he's brand new uh, governor. And we had kind of all kinds of problems. I said, take all the time you need. I didn't think I'd ever see him again. <laughs> but uh, I saw him again about six months later. They got on my schedule. They showed up, and we met in the uh, governor's uh, conference room in the 12th uh, stor uh, story of the, uh, the Carvel building. And I'll never forget. Uh, where's Peggy? Peggy, never forget Peggy. Uh, the uh, they brought in all these big uh, artist renderings. And uh, where's Caroline Wicks? Caroline, she was just reminding me of uh, of uh, these big uh, artist renderings of what the riverfront could look like. And they had a bunch of them, about six, seven, eight, or nine of them. They were beautiful, and. Uh, it looked like this. <laughs> it looked like this. You were all in it. <laughs> and uh, I thought, uh, gosh, this is terrific. And I said, let's do this. And I, I said to uh, Go uh, Governor uh, uh, Peterson, I said, who's going to do this? And he said, I'll never forget. He said, you are. And I said, why me? He said, you're the governor. And I said, why the governor? He said, that's what governors do, rookie. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, uh, I bought a William Donald Schaefer. Remember him? William Donald, William Donald Schaefer. And uh, he was just stepping down as governor of uh, Maryland, where he had been mayor of Baltimore, governor of Maryland, and is really the father of uh, uh, the Inner Harbor. Which, anybody ever been to the Inner Harbor? I think probably most of us. Incredible place. Incredible place. And I brought him up here. I said, uh, let's walk the riverfront. And just tell me if you think it has any potential. We showed him all the renderings. And we walked, literally walked right down here. And we walked all around the, uh, the bend there, back to the, to the train station. And I said, uh, what do you think? And he said, this place is a mess. And uh, he said, but you know, it has potential. He said, it has potential. He gave me some great advice. He said, uh, you want to create something which is actually something like the Riverfront Development Corporation. He said, get the movers and the shakers from your uh, community, your business leaders, your political leaders. Don't create a big staff, but get really good people, really good people, and have somebody to lead it. Have somebody to lead it. And uh, 
boy, we were lucky. We hired uh, and uh, we put together the River Fund Development Corporation. I signed the legislation, put it together, and got some money. The money's starting to come in. The economic recovery kicked in, and we had some money. And uh, let's say we, we go. Let's go to work and make uh, make this happen. The two smartest, probably the two smartest people we put on on the uh, the the, R, uh, the RDC were uh, State Senator Patty Blevins. Patty's not here, is she? Um, Patty's not here. And uh, State Representative Roger Roy, and Dr. T. They were you may recall the co-chairs of the bond bill committee, which did the capital budget for the state. They love this idea. Where's David Sicola? David is here. And uh, they, he, you, I mean, I, I was a champion. God knows uh, Michael and Michael and Megan have been champions. Others have been champions. They were true champions. And the great thing about it is they had, they controlled the purse strings. As the uh, co-chairs of the bond bill uh, committee, I can propose as governor, but they have to decide whether we're going to do anything. And uh, they love the idea. They were on, they joined us on the, uh, the RDC and we hired this man right here to head it up. And he's been doing that, did that for, gosh, 20 years. And I've always said, uh, uh, surround yourself with people smarter than you. I've always done that, try to surround myself with people smarter than me. And uh, mo a lot of them are standing, I frankly, stand, standing right here today. But we brought the best person we had in, uh, and uh, was now the Delaware Economic Development Office, Mike here. And uh, Megan was brought in to, to join them. And today we're here, as, as you know, to, to name the, uh, the, uh, the river walk after Mike, where God knows he deserves it. The, uh, this has not been announced. This is going to be. This is sort of an audible. We're going to rename the Christina River uh, Megan after Megan. And what do you think? What? You, huh? Is that? Is that? Doesn't quite flow. As well as she it. says it doesn't flow as well as the Christina. <laughs> the queen. This named after the Queen of Sweden, who was 12 years old when the first Swedes and Finns came here. They named this river after a 12-year-old queen. If you can believe that, all those all those years ago. I uh, I just want to tell you, Michael. I. Uh, I was involved a little bit as governor for my first six years. I just said, let's put as much money, let's get as much done here as we can while I'm governor. Hopefully somebody else from NEPA, hopefully somebody else will want to do it on NEPA after uh, going forward in the future. And, uh, but Mike, Mike uh, Perzicki, uh, with the strong help of Mike here for most of those years, and Megan by your side, this is the, these are the three, this, these are the three amigos and amigas, the three amigos. Just put your hands together for all of them. Thank you. Oh, guys, go ahead and have a seat. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say one more thing. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let me just, this, is a, this is a project that's hopefully never going to be finished. This is a project that's hopefully never going to be finished. And uh, somebody had a great vision. I was fortunate to be governor at the time when we had some money. The legislature was hugely supportive. But at the end of the day, it was the leadership uh, that, uh, that Michael uh, provided here day after day after day with the great help of Mike and, and Megan and the support of a, of a lot of the people here. We have a number of members of the General Assembly here. I won't say everybody's name, but I just want to say thank you. And uh, gosh, we'll be back down here hopefully in another 20 years, 20, 15 years, 10 years, when we actually do name the river <laughs> after <laughs> Megan. And I'm not sure what we're going to name after Mike here, but he was indispensable in all this. Thank you for letting me play a, a bit role in this. And, uh, so far in my time as treasurer, congressman, governor, senator, retired Navy captain, so far one thing has been named after me in the state of Delaware. It's a combined water sewer <laughs> overflow under the city of Wilmington. That is my baby. Thank you. Congratulations. All right. All right, Megan. Thank you. You think I'm kidding. <laughs> Thank you, Senator. So Mike has often referred to the Chase Center as the heart of the riverfront. If the center is the heart, then I like to say that the Riverwalk is the backbone. The Riverwalk has become the link that connects everything on the riverfront together. The Riverwalk provides the must, much desired public access that has been a cornerstone of the RDC's mission since its inception. Hundreds of thousands of people walk, run, or bike on these two miles of Riverwalk every year. During their lunch breaks from work, on an evening stroll after dinner, or at the many walks and runs that are hosted here each and every year. When you look up the definition of backbone, you will find phrases such as chief support system and strength of character, and words like cornerstone, foundation, resolve, determination, fortitude, courage, and spirit. I can think of no better words to describe Mike, Mike's tenure at the riverfront. Mike was the backbone of the RDC for its first 20 years, its support system and its foundation. It was Mike's spirit that motivated our team every day to strive for excellence in all that we did. It was Mike's resolve that permitted us to shift the Chase Center's focus away from being an exhibition center to the bustling event center that it is today. It was Mike's determination that finally made the city's first ever IMAX movie theater a reality. 
It was Mike's fortitude that re led to the building of that beautiful Weston over there, the first new hotel in Wilmington in decades. And it was Mike's courage that led us to build the DuPont Environmental Education Center right in that marsh in the Urban Wildlife Refuge. Where would the riverfront be today without these remarkable projects? And where would we be without Mike's strength of character? We owe Mike our deepest gratitude for ensuring that the vision for our riverfront became reality. There is no better tribute to Mike's courage, determination, and spirit than to rename this river walk after him. So on behalf of the board of the directors of the Riverfront Development Corporation, I'm honored to announce that in recognition of Mike's vision, de dedication, and leadership as executive director of RDC, the river walk will forever now be known as the Michael S. Perzicki River Walk. Woo. Would you like to come up and say a few words? <laughs> oh my god in heaven this is terrible i um yeah oh my god so uh i know the the uh, first the usual response is uh that someone who receives this kind of recognition says i'm humbled well i'm embarrassed i'm not uh i'm not sure that humility quite expresses it i'm uh philosophically much more humble person than I look. I know I, uh, no one ever walks down the street and says, oh, look at that humble guy over there. I, I get that. I get that, but I have to tell you, I mean, it's, I won't bore you with it, but humility is something. I think it's the greatest virtue and pride the worst vice. So, uh, but, but feeling, uh, the feeling of gratitude more than anything else for the extraordinary luck I've had in my life is, is uh, kind of what I feel right now. Uh, First of all, you know, and I know it's, yeah, I mean, someone's quarterback, I guess, but quarterbacks don't do what, do you mind the f football metaphor, you know? <laughs> quarterbacks are flat on their back without line play and everybody else doing it. So I look, you know, yeah, I was here, but I, I have a better sense of the history of this place than anybody, I think. And I know what I did and I know what others did. And so Megan, you were so generous. But when I look, when I look at the Chase Center, um, when I look at the Chase Center, I think of Verino, <laughs> because I got to tell you, there's no Chase Center without Verino Petnero. Um, you know, we had we had Jim Broughton come in here and want to start an exhibit, and Verino built this thing from a pile of junk to a beautiful center in four months. And we got the building permit the day that we asked for the occupancy permit. I mean, that's how we did things in those days. And so, uh, you know, these the shops were Verino working with him. And I can go through as, as Megan gives me lots of credit for things, but I remember how much of a role that Mike played in the, uh, in the refuge. And um, the Children's Museum, Megan's fingerprints all over that, you know, the, the miniature golf, Megan, the, uh, the ice rink, all, everybody had a role to play. And uh, we're sitting on this river walk that is, is uncomfortably named for me when we have you know, one of four secretaries of transportation here who really built most of this and did just such a spectacular job working with the riverfront. Carolyn Wicks is here. You know, this really was a remarkably, a remarkable team effort. And I, I want to make sure I don't forget uh, anybody. Uh, Tom is always uh, recognizing everybody else. But, you know, I have to tell you, early on, if it weren't for Tom Carper, we wouldn't have gotten this thing off the ground because there was some money in those days, but everybody wants it. And Tom Carper believed in this project and always made sure, along with Patty and Roger, that, you know, that uh, we were funded. I always think that you need, you need a great, you need good people, but you need a great idea and you need funding. You know, it's tough to, great ideas don't work by themselves. And so Tom, you know, you've been a great friend. Tom and I honestly have become friends uh, in, I think in recent years, and we've become friends because of shared experiences and kind of a shared perspective on life. You know, the good thing about, uh, I always worry about getting your name on something too early in life because you still have time to screw up. Well, at my age, I've run out of time to screw up and I've run out of energy. So it's not likely that I'm going to embarrass anybody. Uh, my board, my board has been spectacular. Peggy's here representing my board members. We've got a whole bunch of them here, but over the years, Sorry? Yeah, good idea. How about my board members and former? David Singleton is here and everybody. 
Margaret Rose and Desmond. Desmond was there. Desmond, Desmond, for better or worse, is responsible for me. He was on that first team of five who recommended my hiring. What's that? Oh, yeah, he was. Yeah, and it wasn't an easy vote, by the way, as I recall. I think the fix was in for somebody else. But, uh, but you know, I mean, that coming here is, um, it's, uh, it's very nostalgic for me. I'm deeply appreciative. I am, uh, I, it's just, it's hard to express uh, how I feel about this because I think there's so many other people could, we could, this could be like what we have in the, in the Chase Center. We've got, you know, we've got a little plaque, but we name every director on it. And we could do that here as well for all the people that are responsible for what went on here. Uh, I see Rob is back there, Rob Uccini showed up, you know, Verino, Rob, I mean, others have just made this place what it is. Uh, Ray Petrucci spent half of his life down here every day. Uh, now, he's, now he's torturing somebody else, he's not down here at the riverfront. So Fran Lucy kept us uh, solvent all those years, Dan Zier kept the place clean so it just looks as great as it does. And, you know, everybody, everybody can take a bow, but nobody, nobody can take a bigger bow than Betty, <laughs> who uh, my whole life, uh, everything that's good that's happened in my life, she's responsible for. I can promise you that, in including, uh, including uh, taking the job here. Uh, Vince Deanna called me and said they've got a job. They're looking for someone to run the riverfront. And I said, I'm not interested. And so he called me back and said, we've got this, you should really look at this. I said, I'm not interested in going to work. And so he, he called Betty. And then, <laughs> and then I was toast as soon as I walked in the door, you know. And, uh, and I remember when I, I walked in the house one day and I was thinking about running for mayor and I said, let me just, honey, let me just kind of run something by and see what you think. And I, I, I did something silly. I told her I, was, I, I thought maybe I could run for mayor. Well. You're doing it. That'd be great. You got to do it. You're in. You know, it's like, I said, wait a second. I didn't decide yet. Yes, so she did. And that's the way things go in our family and, and lucky for me. So I am, I am thoroughly humbled by this. I wish I could just share it with everybody in a, in a very, uh, uh, in a way that the world could see. But thank you so very much for this, this extraordinary honor. I'm, uh, I'm deeply appreciative. Thank you. That's good. Um, so now we're going to no, we're going to come up um, and unveil the plaques. So if I can invite the current and former RDC board members to come up, please, and help us. So come on up. All right, everybody, let's, uh, let's do a countdown from 10 to 0. Can you hear me? John Rago, can you hear me, John? Do a countdown from 10 to 0. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! All right. There you go. It's a typo. I triple checked it. <laughs>